smoking. It's not shark ass though. It's Woo. Oh my god. He's trying my life. Cool. What's going on guys? Adam Moose here. Welcome back to another video of Move Away Fishing. Today I'm with my good buddy Dan Woolley. What's up? It's been, it's been a while. He's been in Chirac doing some suspect things. Um, today we're going to be running the beach for pompano and mackerels. Let's get right into the video. That's money right there. That's money. Oh, oh there he was. Oh. Oh. Sussy. Oh. You guys are suspect. You know all the fish over here. They're jumping out and whatnot. Sussman Taviason. Oh, jeez. Oh, Sussy! Dan's tight. Dan's tight. Sure. Show us how you do that. Just, just like that, boys. Oh, Chief! Chief! You're trying to buy a truck, man! That was Blue Runners stuff there. That was the Blue Runners there. Mm. Ooh, that was a nice one. Chief! Oh, that's a big one. I don't know what I got here, boys. Very snook ass. A big snook in the surf. Can't, he almost spooled me. I don't even know. I don't know what's going on. Chief, what do you think it is? No, there's no head shakes. Look at this. Really? She's dead weight. Dead weight? She's a little sharp? <laughs> no, it might be a snook. I think that's a little shark ass. It's smoking. It's not shark ass though. It's Woo. Oh my god. <laughs> it's trying it's my life. Cool. I just want to know what this is. It's like a big red fish or something, dude. I'm gonna get spooled. What the hell? You oh god, oh god. Chief, you might have to go in there and chase him. Chief, Chief, Chief. <laughs> what do you think it is, dude? I don't know. I do not know. What'd you say, Chief? A shark? Chief, we might have to chase it down. Oh, you're about to get spooled. Oh my god, Chief, 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 Chief. <laughs> I have like three yards of line on here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh my god, that was it. Oh! Big road. That was close, Chief. Oh, Yachty. Yes. I'm not that bad. I've never experienced it. Yeah, I feel like there's a shark that's come out on the surface. You know what I mean? It's not shark ass. It's moving weight fishing. <laughs> moving weight fishing. Well, he can only go that far, so. Yeah, he's really out of luck here. No, 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 no! Woo! He's not coming off that beach, man. Yeah, he's moving that way. Dude, he's fighting like a big redfish. I'm not kidding. I just, I, I don't know what it is. I really don't. I have no words. Out here trying to catch pomperos. Literally, 10 minute bite right now on a goofy jig. Cannot call it. Foul hook stinger. He, he, he smoked it though. He dumped me. <laughs> the full thumb. It's literally dead weight. Dude, I... What do you think? Dude? I don't know. I've been fighting it for 15 minutes now. Maybe a nice turtle or something. Hey. A little fried turtle. Oh, can't, gonna, can't go wrong. I'm gonna die if it's a turtle or something stupid like that. It died. There's no way to fish. I honestly don't know what to say at this point. I really don't. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Such a heavy thing to us. Oh my god, he's going around the boat. Chief, I'm perched up on the bow. Come on. Okay. 
just a little bit more. Right here. I just want to see them. That's all I want to do. I can't see him. He's right under us. Look that. It's right on top of him. Okay. I wish he would come up a little bit. Yeah, I wonder if it's a nurse shark. If it's a nurse shark, I'd be upset. I, he would be dead. I can't call it. Yeah, he's too close to the beach. He's a big drum. Yeah. Big black drum. I'll be so sick. <laughs> getting tired. It's a bottom dwelling tarpon. I don't think we're ever going to catch it. If I, if I really tell you. <laughs> we might see it. Maybe. We might. I don't just gotta wear them out. Look, dude, he's going back the other way now. Oh, chief suspects well. Yeah. Oh! Ha 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 ha! What kind of reel are you fishing there? It's a 1000 CI4. Oh, I'm honestly pretty excited. I mean. You think you would have caught it if it was a pen? I wonder if he bent out a hook. Oh. I blame, Is there a scale on it? I blame Pompano Rich. Look at my hook. Look at my hook. I blame Pompano Rich. End of story. So, Chief, explain me what you're doing with this hand, please. How you're hooking them up. Oh, I'm, I'm, hey, sir, I'm tight. tight. I'm tight. <laughs> I'm just trying to film, boys. I'm GoPro died. I'm tight. I'm tight. Okay, take the camera for me. It's already recording. So it's in Tavius, man. <laughs> oh, we're going around back here. <laughs> Alright, boys. Nice popper out. You love, absolutely love to see that. Yeah. Popper out? Pomps in Tavius? We're tight, boys. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Uh, it's a yeah, fierce yeah, popper yeah. <laughs> Smallest one we've caught all day. This is not sad to say. Hey, is that right now? We're out here picking a couple boys. Really can't complain. Out here with the boys. You know how it is. Alright guys, what's up? We're back here at Jib, gonna flay the fish. I know the last clip you saw was us fishing at night, pompano fishing, and now we're just here magically, but I didn't really film an outro, so that's, things frozen. As you can tell, we got a little surprise there. A nice jack crevasse of sorts. Got one on the table. It's a stud, look at that one. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and be cleaning this guy and show you guys. We're gonna do, like, never done on YouTube before, Jack versus Pompano, catch, clean, and cook. Alright, boys, ready? First cut's right here. Right behind the peck fin, right there, okay? Right up to the head. Now I'm gonna come down, just, you gotta have a real sharp knife to do this. I just sharpened my knife with a sharpener right here. Put my knife back in there, I'm just gonna slide right down the bone. I got, see, I just hit the bone, gotta go up a little. Oops. Nice, so sharp, ready? Alright. Just like that, then get, then get down to the tail. I'm gonna come back up and feed my knife through very slowly. You're not, you're not like sawing at it, you're just feeling the bone. That's all you're doing. Then I'm gonna stick my knife through the other side there. Cut out the tail. Then I'm gonna come over the rib cage right here. Show how we got right here. That's the rib cage, I don't wanna cut, you hear it? Hear that? I'm gonna cut over it. Let's just cut myself. I'm gonna cut over it. Come down right there. This is a pretty big pond. It's about a three and a half, four pounder. Can't complain. There we go. 
beautiful popper of filet. Can't believe I'm about to do this, boys. This is YouTube life. I'm about to play a jack. Can't, I really can't believe it. Alright. Like you grab a spin. Alright. This is about to be raggedy. You hear a lot of YouTubers say there's no such thing as trash fish, just trash cooks. I don't know about that statement here. I look at this meat. I really cannot call it. It looks like a nice blue runner. That's very raggedy. That is very, very raggedy, boys. All right, guys, we are back in the kitchen now. Got our pompano and got our jack. So as you can see, the jack is very, very, very red. And I'm very, very, very suspect. So jack and pompano are actually in the same family, as surprising as it sounds. A lot of people get them confused. Some people will catch a jack that are new to fishing and go, oh, I caught a pompano today. No, you caught a crevasse, okay? I hate to break it to you. So clearly, you can tell the difference. I, I, I really can't believe I'm about to do this, boys. Um, I'm, let's, let's get to cooking. What else can I say? So what we're going to do is we're going to fry one piece of pompano, one piece of jack, and then we're going to saute one piece of pompano, one piece of jack. So, because if you fry it, you kind of override the taste, you know what I mean? So, you got to saute it, so you know. First goes in the flour before the egg. You don't need to overdo it, just light flour. Trust me, the skin's nice and stentavious. Oil's starting to heat up back there. All right, then after that, you go into the egg wash. Get all of it. I actually cut myself when I was flying. I don't know if you guys saw it. Okay. It's a little messy. My mom's about to smoke me. <laughs> Ready? After that, you make sure you get all the egg wash off. Drop it right in the bag. And then I'll wait till I do the other jack. Now look at that. I, I really cannot call it, boys. I, I don't know how else it's gonna go. If this is good, I don't know what to say. It's not going to be good. I can just tell you right now. Now, like I said earlier, I didn't bleed this fish because I wanted to do it the same way as a pompano. Because I wouldn't be bleeding a pompano, you know what I mean? So if I was bleeding this jack, it'd be like, it's not fair. Pompano's going in first. We're going to do the jack in a little bit because the pompano's got a lot to cook. All right, guys, now the jack's going in. That is so suspect, I'm at loss for words. I really am. All right, boys. Pomp Contavious is ready. That, tell me that pomp doesn't look second, Andre. Wow. Meat side going down first, boys. Wow. Oh, so fun. Crevasse is going in. Look, you couldn't tell from the back. You might be able to tell by the tail, but look at that. Same pattern. You really couldn't tell. Pompero. Oh, look at the difference in suffering. The pompano looks so good. The jack literally looks so bad. All right, boys. Pompano's going first, of course, because I can't do that to myself. Oh my god. That looks succulent. Mmm. That's nice. All right. <laughs> I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. All right, here we go, boys. I'm about to eat a crevasse. <laughs> Dude! Ah. I didn't expect that at all, actually. 
It's not as bad. I can't believe I'm about to say that. Oh my god. It's really not that bad. Alright, I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm really hungry. I'm gonna start with the pump. So good. I'm going in again. It's a nice ass piece. Mm. Pop was perfect. Now I'm gonna make myself sad with the jack. How dark that is. That's jack in my mouth. Stop ruining the video. Literally it. tastes just like pop. I'm. I'm not lying. It just. It. It's like not appetizing. It doesn't look appetizing no, it, at it all. Doesn't. It's so dark. I'm going to the saute now. Going into the jack. You're so ragged. That piece no. was not good. Mega fishy. Ooh. Dude, that was gas. Sauteed pomperol. That's all you can ask for in fish right there. Flaky white, cooked to perfection. So, I'm gonna go with Joey and give the fried jack a four and the saute jack a three because saute was. Raggedy. Yeah, we don't do that ever again. Um, Pompano was good. This, I'm, I don't know, dude. I think it was, I think it was cooked perfect. I'm gonna give that a nine. Really? Yeah, so I'll take a nine, the fried an eight, just because fried fish is good overall, but nice crispy skin succulents. Yeah, I give sauteed pompano a seven, because I like my fish like overcooked a little bit. Sauteed jack was so raggedy. Yeah, I give it like a negative four. Yeah, dude, that was, I don't even know what I was saying with three. Yeah, never um, again, ever again. Fried pompano, eight out of ten, and jack fried four, three. All right, well, I never thought I'd be doing this, but it's just a YouTube life. So I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Let me know if you guys want to see more Pompano. I know you guys, this is the second video of Pompano. I don't know, but some sick macro footage coming up. We're going to get the drone up, the whole... <clears throat> whole nine. Yeah, we're going to get the drone up. We, we got all that stuff that's coming, boys. Appreciate you guys watching. Moving weights out.